Good morning, Plum here playing Was Hanks. It's Monday, it's a new week, and it's sunny again. That is how it looks outside where I live this morning again. So I'm exceedingly happy again. And deja vu. Uh, what also is amusing is the scale of my little Bert next to the um, door wedge that is the uh, <laughs> Japanese heavy tank, the OI. Oh, that thing's so funny. Am I going to get one of those? Probably not. I, I actually feel really content at the moment with my garage. I'm not chasing down anything, it seems, in terms of uh, tanks. I am more than happy with what I've got. So uh, I'm just happy to play tanks. Does everyone get to that point? You just get to a point in your garage, you just think, yeah, I'm happy, I'm fine, I've got the tanks I want. Oh, the CDC, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was so close. I knew he'd fall back once he fired. Now, am I being detected? I'll put one there. I think that went in. I think that went in, you know. Oh. That wasn't a comment, was it? Cromwell, I think, that it went into. <laughs> come on, just drop back a little bit more. Just drop back a little bit more. Stop doing this to me. Can I thread one through that gap? Ooh, there's a chaffy. Ah, don't, 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 don't. Stop mucking about, chaffy. That's my phone, don't worry. <laughs> You're not being summoned to work. Come on, chaffy. Stop driving and just... Give me a shot. Okay, Cromwell. We'll go for the Cromwell instead. Is he really just going to sit in that bush? Has he been tracked? Can I get the kill shot? Firing. Come on. Be lucky. <laughs> six. I've done six damage. Ah, oh, love you, Bert. Okay, we'll see if we can get a slim shot on this Comet. I've got a 2.2 meter splash radius on this gun, so fingers crossed. Firing. Well, that looked like it was within 2.2 meters to me. Gotta say. Come on, we're losing tanks. Hand over fist here. What is going on, team? Firing. Uh, I wanted him to come out a bit a bit more then. Well, at least we've got a good defensive position happening now. We should be able to get some kills. Surely. Surely he's going to fall back. He's been tracked. Firing at the Comet. 148, looks like we've done some more tracking damage. Chaffee's still there. Comet might be there in four seconds, five seconds. If no one can... Mm. Finally, we do some damage. Okay, I'm turning my gun around. I need to engage enemy tanks over here. Ooh, there's an SU. Oh, I see the LTTB on the minimap. Might have to swing around in a second for him. Oh, I just can't quite get my gun down. Oh, we're being really, really, really flanked now. Right, I might have to go and shotgun. Don't shoot. Oh, that's a bad idea, Plum. Don't go that way. Go this way. And go and kill a Cromwell. Hopefully I've not been proximity detected, hopefully. Right, I'm going to go to where the FCM is, hopefully, and get shots on our base. Scores have levelled off, so this is going down to the wire. I think they're going to push our base, aren't they? Do I go to their base and start capping? Uh, I want to get closer, I want to get closer. I'm going to support our base. We've got tanks over at their base. Saying that, do I go after the T-32? No, I'm going to leave him. I think the LTTB is hopefully dead, but it's an LTTB. Okay, I can finish off this. Uh, <laughs> I really want to shoot something. Come on, Cromwell B. Okay, pamph oh, okay, I've got to get into a position where I can hit these tanks between these buildings. 
Okay, the LTTB. Can I help out with the LTTB? Oh, I've lost it now. Uh, come on, FCM. Just keep these tanks lit for me. Oh, you're not doing me any favours at all. I think they might come for us, you know. Well, I'm not going to get any spotting done over there now. Lerva's on full health. Let's go and give the Lerva a hand. Yeah, you just keep him there. I'll put one right in the back of him. Firing at the T-32. Oh. Really needed that to hit. I thought he'd back up then. <laughs> I can wreck a Rhyma tile. I can wreck a Rhyma tile. I can see the clock counting down, but I really want to help this guy out. Firing at the Rhyma tile. What? Oh, I really want to hurt the Rhyma tile. Who do I want to hit? The Rhyma tile is more dangerous. 434 on the Rhyma tile. Come on, I need to take out this Rhymatite. It's got a massive gun. Yes, let me finish him, let me finish him, let me finish him, let me finish him. I thought I'd fired then, but I hadn't. Phew. Looks like he'd still be in the match. If uh, I hadn't have thought I'd clicked the mouse, but I had. Right, let's go and focus down this uh, Panther M10. Holy cow, if this can be a win, this is a good victory. Speed, Bert, speed. Speed! Now, I know the LTTB is quick. He's probably already halfway up the road. Which kind of sucks. Still got eight minutes on the clock, so... I'm going to try and do death from above. Yeah, nuts. Okay. Let's stick together. You spot for me, buddy. That feels like a bit of a turnaround, this match, because we were many tanks down at the very start. I'm sticking with this guy. We should be able to get one shot off. Oh, he's got him. Ah, we won. I didn't do much in the end. It's got to be said. I didn't do much. I kept my tank alive, though, and sometimes it's psychological, this game. You just see numbers of tanks. Oh, I've won. I've lost. Staying alive. Very important. I've been earning some stripes. Cool. Where did I come on the team? I'm going to say 7th, maybe. No, even worse than that plum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th on the team. Not a good performance for Bert, but. With its tight aiming circle, you've got a lot less RNG going on. It does generally go within the aiming circle, and the aiming circle is so tight that you really don't have many excuses for missing with Bert. But um, splash damage doesn't seem to do any favours today. Firing at the Cromwell and the um, Comet, it seemed they didn't seem to be doing any splash damage at all. I got six, didn't I? <laughs> six splash damage. Um, however, if I had done that stupid clicky thing, I thought I fired at the Rhymatile, and it would have got to him, and it would have killed him just before the uh, Lerva got killed. Anyway. I'm glad we did that, and I'm glad we won. Uh, I did notice on our team, where's he gone? This guy, a Lego clan. Is there really a Lego clan? Because that helps me transition beautifully into this photograph of my latest um, heavy cruiser. I think it's going to be this ship. I kind of built it, and I'm not entirely sure exactly what it is. I did it again without anything in front of me, um, without a picture to copy. I just kind of made a ship, knowing it was going to be bigger than a destroyer, and in my mind, I thought I was aiming to do a battleship, but it didn't end up wide enough to be a battleship. So it's it's a cruiser, and it's three guns at the front and three guns at the back. But then the superstructure at the middle looks a bit too sort of chunky and large for a cruiser. They're much more narrow ships. Everything down the centre line of the ship, lots of space around the edges of the ship, whereas this is quite built up. So it's kind of, yeah, heavy. Quite a large, it's a bit like a... Um, 
Um, can't think of the name of the ship. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> I just can't think of the name of it. Begins with C. Tier 6 American cruiser. They're an absolute nightmare because they fire their guns so damn quickly. Um, it's a bit like that, the gun layout, but the um, central superstructure is not like that at all. Anyway, um, I thought that was rather cool. If there's a Lego clan, that's the clan I might be joining. <laughs> Don't ask why. It's a silly question. And speaking of creating things, they've also launched a competition. Uh, Wargaming, the world of tanks, to pimp your tank. A back-to-school creative contest. There's some prizes up for grabs. An M65 Scorpion, an STA-2, um, as well as second, third, fourth prizes, which is more premium tanks, uh, gold and premium time. Uh, you enter your drawings that you do on either Facebook, Instagram or Twitter, or it doesn't say you can't enter them on all three. Basically, they're doing a drive to get more people signed up to Facebook, Instagram and Twitter because you've got to join the uh, Wargaming uh, part of those social networks. Um, am I going to enter this? I think I might, actually. I could just enter one of my drawings, can I, from the start of uh, my videos? <laughs> just put it in there. But it's got to have a theme. That's the only problem. It's not just do a nice drawing of a tank. It's going to have a theme. It's not entirely 100% clear on here. All you need to do is pimp a tank to make it the ultimate back to school ride. So that's that's the clincher there. It's got to be an ultimate back to school ride. Uh, if you go down to the rules and conditions, um, the theme of the contest is to design your tank related to World of Tanks and your concept of back to school. So uh, most people's concept of back to school is drudgery and doom. <laughs> I don't want to go back to school. Um, how are we going to do that? Well, I'm not going to give any tips or secrets on how to do this because I might have a go at it myself. I'd quite like an M65 Scorpion or an STA2 or any of those prizes. Um, since I'm not a community contributor, um, I don't think there's any um, harm in me entering. Perhaps if I was, I might feel a conflict of interest slightly, but I'm not, so I don't. Um, if I do enter it, I'll obviously stick it up on the channel, whatever I create. But um, that's there at the moment on the main splash screen as you load the game. So. Uh, You've got until the 30th of September, 30th of September to enter, and uh, good luck if you do. If you feel like sending me your entries, and I'll put them on the channel as well, just to show people what you're drawing, I'm happy to do it. Good stuff, right? Keep your stamp, drink plenty of water, and I'll play tanks again real soon. Take care, bye bye.